Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Jonathan's Room, where Nerdum rules and Normacy drools. Sorry it's been a while since I've posted anything. I've been sick, um, finally feeling up to par. Um, and I have plenty of catching up to do. I, I have so many ideas. Um, but today is the perfect day to do this review because the second half of the first season is airing tonight on Fox. Um, so, for me, the show that I'm talking about today is one of the better shows that has come out in 2019. Um, like I said, it uh, is a Fox show, which they have done pretty good about coming out with shows and developing them to have a good storyline. The show that I'm talking about tonight or today is Prodigal Son. And the show starts out with the main character who is Malcolm Bright. He started out as a profile for the FBI a profiler for the FBI but he ended up losing his job because of some of his unconventional methods of solving the case. So, MP NYPD Lieutenant Gil Arroyo brings him in as a profile profiler for, of course, the NYPD. And at first he's kind of reluctant because he knows something that the other detectives don't know. But Lieutenant Arroyo has brought him in to the NYPD for a certain reason. Malcolm's Bright's father is a serial killer. Martin Whitley, a.k.a. The Surgeon. So, there's that twist. And, you know, because his father is a serial murderer, he doesn't want, quite want to, you know, really tell his fellow co-workers, his fellow detectives, that his father was Martin Whitley. But the first case that they have him working on with the NYPD is actually a copycat. Somebody is copycatting uh, Martin's murders. And so from there on, they keep on going um, and solving other cases. But in between the cases, uh, Malcolm has like these little bursts of memory um he has been classified as a PTD or PTSD survivor um and he has to take so many pills and whatnot he also has night terrors but between his night terrors and his PTSD he has these flashes of memories of this girl in the box and He's obsessed with the girl in the box. Well, his mother and Lieutenant Arroyo um, have tried in their um, have tried to convince him that there is no girl in the box. It's just um, a figment of his imagination. But he's sure he's there. He remembers seeing her, and then. There are some other things where we actually meet another serial killer who kind of was trained, kind of put under the wing of Martin Whitley. His name was uh, the Junkyard Killer. And it starts getting interesting from there this point what happens tonight is the way that they ended the first half of the first season is the junkyard killer 
right now has Malcolm. So I cannot wait to see what happens tonight. I am super ecstatic about this. I have been waiting for the second half of the first season. Um, so I guarantee you I'll be watching it tonight. Um, I have posted the trailer for Particle Sun on Jonathan's Room. So if it catches your interest, it is also on Hulu. Watch the first half of it before you start watching the second half so it can make sense to you. Um, the first half is 10 episodes. Um, it's really good. Mm, yeah. But, alright, I think that about does it. So, see you guys on the next episode of Jonathan's Room, where Nerdum rules and Normacy drools.